All right, the top part is open. I think we're, we're clear. Let's see what it looks like. Oh God, I don't know if I want to eat this anymore. The ocean floor has some of the most bizarre creatures on earth and the sea cucumber is no exception. Before we head out to get more, I got to answer the most basic question, which is, are they vegetables? They are not. Sea cucumbers are echinoderms, which makes them related to things like starfish, sea urchins, and sand dollars. Basically invertebrates that have a five-fold uh, symmetry. This video is gonna be kind of multifaceted. I'm gonna talk first about their biology, like what makes them so weird and alien. And then we're gonna to go to the sea cucumber store and look into why these things are being harvested and sold in mass quantities. They're actually really expensive. And then we're gonna bring some back here and do a little dissection because based on what they eat, I'm actually really curious to know what's inside. Let's take a look. Before we go there, I actually had to stop by the grocery store. One way to understand sea cucumbers is to think about them as like earthworms of the sea. What function do both earthworms and sea cucumbers play in their ecosystems? Similarities may include their roles as decomposers, nutrient cyclers, and ecosystem engineers. Both organisms uh, help to break down organic matter and recycle nutrients back into the soil or water. This is true. Both animals are considered detrivores, so they consume detritus, which is like any dead organic material. And in doing so, to my understanding, their excrement like reintroduces key nutrients back into the soil that's now in a form that's more accessible to plants. And so this nutrient recycling ability of worms is apparently why they're so good for your garden. Okay, that was pretty good. Let's see if we can push this analogy even further. What are some physical or anatomical similarities between earthworms and sea cucumbers? Number one, segmented body. Check. The sea cucumber does have these segments that run down the length of its body. While in earthworms, these segments run perpendicular to the length of the body. Number two, they both have a muscular body. I think we can give it that because they both don't have a skeleton, they just move by contracting their muscles in different ways. Thank you for shopping with us. Number three is tubular body shape. That's definitely true. These looked so good, but then I realized these are in fact for dogs. Number four, both animals have a simple digestive system with a mouth, gut, and anus. I can see why they said that. I mean, they're both basically tubes with a mouth at one end and an anus at the other. And the mouth and anus are kind of stretchy. And number five is they both have something called a coelom, which is a body cavity filled with fluid that helps with movement and support. Indeed they do, indeed they do. So we're now gonna make our way to the sea cucumber store. Unfortunately, I don't know the names of any of these species, but it's still gonna be a good time. We're gonna go see what we can find. Let's go. Oof! Hello? 
Okay, so the first thing I noticed about this store is that all these giant boxes are filled with sea cucumbers. And these guys aren't exactly cheap. These here are actually the least expensive options in the store. What makes these so expensive is that they're considered a delicacy and they have several supposed medicinal benefits. Overfishing has devastated some wild populations and so many of these actually come from aquaculture. They apparently have little to no taste, are full of sand, and are fishy in smell. And boy are they fishy, as we're gonna see. All right, we are back. So I ended up getting six species for $30 total. The textures on these are amazing, so we're gonna take a look at some of these and then rehydrate three of them and find out what's inside. See you guys in a bit. I don't have too many like strong op uh, political opinions or anything, but I will say that even if these things were not conscious, we should probably just leave them alone because they have an important job to do in cleaning up the waste on the ocean floor. Like, what would happen if your trash collector just stopped showing up one day? That's kind of what we're doing when we're taking these out of the ocean. God, oh my God, these things are nasty. Oh my God, hold on a second. Hold on, I gotta stop, I gotta stop. As Soon as I took it out of the water, I just was like, this smells disgusting. So fishy. Okay, beautiful. So we're gonna start with the one that doesn't look like it has the most inside. Let's see what's inside. I'm just gonna go straight down the middle. Ooh. All right, we're gonna actually just cut this in half. You gotta be aggressive with this. What do we have here? It's actually really hard. Like this material is actually really tough. I can see why they tell you to boil it so many times. This one doesn't seem to have that much inside. Wow. Okay, on to number two. Oh, oh my God, that is so nasty. <laughs> Okay, first thing I can tell you is that there is sand in here. Look at that. That is straight up sand. It's just like eating these things that you would never, no other creature would put in their mouth. Like, what is that? This here, a piece of a shell. You can tell it has literally just picked stuff up off the ocean floor and, and just put it into its body. Like, that's all sand. Now, the real question is like, are these things conscious? To my understanding, they don't have a brain but they do have this nervous system that allows them to obviously like contract their muscles and this long tube that runs down the length. This is probably part of their intestine here. Wow. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Let's see what's, what's in the next one. All right, and now for the big mama. Some little parasites, maybe little fish or something, are known to live inside of the sea cucumber, so I'm kind of curious to see if we can find any of those. All right, we're clear. Let's see what it looks like. Oh God, oh God, it's nasty. These right here are definitely the modified tube feet for, that are used to, to put this stuff into the mouth. This white thing, maybe that's the brain. They said they didn't have a brain. 
Can you believe? I don't know if I want to eat this anymore. These tubes here again, we see these tubes that I think that this is like the intestine, but I'm just astonished by like how tough and leathery this material is. As a fish, as like a predator, I don't think I'd want to eat this because it has some nasty stuff inside and it's just really tough. You wouldn't want to be chewing on this. Like the, as a defense mechanism, the sea cucumber can actually eviscerate itself. Like it, it can expel its own organs out into the water if it's being like messed with. Cause these are related ultimately to like starfish. Starfish can regenerate, you know, an arm if they lose it. In the same way, these things can regenerate their internal organs after they get eviscerated. Ooh, that's a straight up rock. That white particle is uh, a rock that it ate. Well, that's about it. <laughs> I think we've uh, seen what was inside here and I think I'm satisfied with what we found. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Now I got to uh, clean this up and decide whether I wanna eat these. <laughs> see you next time, bye.